Hey everybody, this is Shramani from the Happy Film Company. And this morning I did a photo shoot in Seattle at a family's home. It was a newborn photo shoot, so we had a little baby and they also have a little toddler. And um, <clears throat> like normal, uh, babies cry and toddlers run around. And it's kind of my job. I, I float around like a little cloud <laughs> with my camera. Um, I. I and the Happy Film Company, um, the philosophy that we work with is to stay pretty chill and just let things unfold and notice when the parents are taking control and they're comfortable and they're soothing their children and when they need help with it. Um, like if, and, and kind of getting involved in, in how, how involved are we going to get? So if I notice the kids are behaving really well, but they're just really distracted, um, sometimes I will try and engage with the kids and be like, hey, come over here, play with my camera. Like I let kids use my camera and, um, or, you know, show me your favorite toy. And I try and help with the focus. If the kids are more screaming and upset, I usually leave that more to the parents because that's their kind of relationship. I'm not really the soothing parent role in that moment. I'm the photographer. So uh, usually when the kids are crying and the parents are soothing, I use that as an opportunity to be the photographer and really capture those sweet moments so that as the parent, you might be thinking, oh my gosh, this is horrible. Like our photo shoot is not going how I planned. My kid is crying. I'm going to have all these crying pictures. But from my perspective, what I'm getting are these cuddling pictures and these soothing pictures and the rubbing of the back. And, um, what you might not be able to see is how cute that actually looks and how many photo moments there are throughout that moment. So one of the easiest ways I can describe this to you is that babies have to breathe. So the baby's crying and it's like meh and it has this face that is not its cutest face. But every now and then it has to go <gasps> and take a breath. And usually in that moment, it looks like it's smiling or it will look peaceful. So my best baby impression again, it's like meh and then it's like <sighs> So I am so ready because I do this all the time. Um, so I'm taking pictures and I'm waiting and I'm waiting and the baby breathes and ta-da. And then what I hope to deliver is I like to, I like to deliver a crying photo and the calm looking one. That way you have uh, a complete memory. This is what your baby looked like when they were crying. It's a real thing. Um, and also if you're bothered about the baby crying pictures, if it helps you at all, just think about... Um, that you can give those pictures to your kids when they're grown up and, and be like, look, this is you throwing a hissy fit. And it's kind of a fun picture to be able to have. Because uh, <laughs> if everyone always looks perfect, there's nothing to tease them about later. Um, yeah, so I did this photo shoot this morning and we had, um, baby was crying the whole time, so I just let mom comfort baby. Um, and then we got lots of cuddly shots and and you also have to work quickly. So you'll notice if, if I'm at your house and we're doing the newborn shoot and we put the baby down, we might take like three, five, three, five, three, five, three, four, five pictures and then be like, okay, that's enough. Pick up baby again. So I am happy to work quickly. It's not like you have to try and get your baby to not cry for an entire hour. It's okay to do little intervals like that. And, um, and then when the older kids when they get upset about stuff or they get really distracted or really hyper, my mentality is just to play with them. Like stay at their pace so that I'm able to photograph them in their special moments. It's like the baby crying, like a toddler that's running around. If I'm trying to take a picture of them standing still, it's like we're working at different speeds. Like I'm still and they're going like this and the picture is just going to be blurry. But if I can run with them, then I can take pictures along the way and they'll look still. Does that make sense? So I move around with the kids a lot and I take pictures quickly. And so you get these cool pictures of the kids in action, but it's not blurry. So it's all about synchronizing with the children. And when parents feel bad about it, like, I'm so sorry, my kids are crying. Let me just say, I did not show up at your house or the park expecting your two-year-old to stand still. It's not like that. You know, it's not life. It's not what we do. I show up ready to run around. And uh, like when I get dressed in the morning before a photo shoot, I'm thinking, okay, I'm probably going to crawl on the ground. I'm probably going to be lying on my back. I'm probably going to be running. I'm probably going to be upside down at some point. Like I'm thinking about all this stuff. And there's a good chance that 
there's gonna be a lot of crying. Kids are probably gonna put their goopy fingers and their tongue on my camera, so I need to make sure I bring a, a towel to wash that off. Um, I might get boogers on my hands. That's fine. I got some wipes in my bag. Like, anything that you as a parent are expecting or not expecting with your kids, I'm right there with you. So just never, ever, ever feel bad at a photo shoot and never feel worried about the kids. I honestly, the only thing I would say is it's the parents. That's the most important thing to me because the kids are kids. You can't control them. They're unpredictable. Parents, we're meeting and interacting with you on an adult level. And so it actually affects me more if the parents are stressed, if the parents are kind of grumpy. Um, different than tired moms. I know moms can be tired sometimes. Dads too. Everyone can be tired. That's not an issue. It's more um, if the parents and I are getting along and we're on the same page, like the kids are crazy, but we're just going to keep trying. Everything goes well. And the only time I ever have hiccups is when sometimes we get a client who is feeling more stressed. Like I wanted that perfect picture and I don't think the photographer is getting it. Usually, I think that's just because they're usually a new client and, and they haven't realized that how I work, how I work at the kid's pace. Because um, you might think, I understand that could look like that from the outside. If I'm running around with your kids, it might look like I'm not getting a still picture that you're hoping for. But I try and communicate that and, and tell, tell parents like, okay, I know, like, I know you want this portrait, so I'll try and get that, but I'm running around with them. And for the most part, the Happy Film Company clients are just awesome. But I'm just throwing that out there that as a parent, if you're watching this, don't worry about your kids, but uh, I do appreciate it as adults if, if, if you and I can stay chill and peaceful together. That is helpful. <laughs> so, um, yeah, that's it, really. It's kids. They run, they play, and I keep up with them. So don't worry about it. Um, and at the end of the day, I always find the clients that are happiest are the ones that remind themselves that I'm there to capture their childhood. Whatever is happening, whether it's crying or screaming or disobedience or whatever, like that's the memory. That's what was real. Um, and the clients that are most frustrated are the ones that are aiming for a perfect looking a certain way. So... I leave the ball in your court how you want to approach your photo shoot, but that's the advice I've found from working with all these families. If, if, um, if you want to just have a little bit more fun and be happier, just let it go. No need to be perfect. Alrighty, that is enough for me. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you guys soon.